Welcome back everybody. We are at morning of day two, playing War of the Walkers. And my goal for today is to head out east and look for some place to start a kind of a base of operation, somewhere we can put down storage. I think towards the east there should be a desert biome close by. See if we can find anything to kind of uh, clear out and take over. Um, right now what I want to do is I'm going to be going through all the inventory that I have stashed here, take as much as I can, maybe give the rest to Billy and the Baker, and we'll head out east right after that. But first I want to go see what Jen has, because the trader stock did restock today, and I want to see if there's anything useful in there real quick that I can pick up. Don't look so good. You might want to get some antibiotics for that. The tool workstation is tempting, but I don't know if I need it yet. And it's not too hard to craft later on, so I'll probably leave that. Again with the zinc powder, it's super expensive, but I've actually been finding a decent amount this playthrough, so I'm probably not going to spend money on that yet. Definitely want the class fragment. Want to make sure I have all five of those when I'm done with the soldier quest. And I think that's it for her secret stash. Okay, let's go through the inventory. Let's take everything, and like I said, I'm going to give some to Billy and the Baker. And then we'll head out. Let's go, boys. Damn it, Arlene. So something I noticed with this mod is for these quests where you gotta kill the zombies with certain weapons, it seems like as long as I hit them once with the weapon and then have the weapon equipped, if one of my NPCs ends up killing them, I still get credit, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get some honey out of this stump. Guess not. All right, let's keep moving, guys. Oh, very nice. Another one of these crates, and I see more in the distance. First, let's take care of this guy so that he doesn't cause us any problems. Hey, yo. Good job, Billy. Okay, what do we have? Tactical assault rifle, some grenades, and some ammo. Not bad. I forgot we have some skill points to spend. So let's see where we want to spend it. Okay, scrap iron tools. Let's get that. Screwdriver, let's get the iron hammer as well. Wooden nails, gonna need that. Cobblestone, medium chest. Bicycle, very nice. We'll try to craft that today too. Let's get leather armor. Anything else? Let's get these. Healing factor. Flurry of blows. Parkour. Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Two more points. 
Where do I want to go with it? Let's put a point into Daring Adventure for now. And what else? Okay, what's going on over here? No. Wait, I hear an AK. Where are you? Come on, nurse. There she is. Hello, Nan. Very nice. She ain't cheap, but she's worth it. All right. Now we're kind of stacked as far as the group goes. Oops. All right. Another weapon supply crate. Come on. Another assault rifle, pom pom bow, and some ammo. Let's swap that pom pom bow with our shitty bow. Ouch. All right, health and armor. Nice, more zinc powder. I think I'm gonna wear these gloves. And I'll scrap the hood, as well as these pad gloves. Ow! What the hell, man? God. Looks like Zombie Hugh has decided to join the party. Goodbye, Hugh. done. Just gotta kill some more. Ah, uh, more meat. Ow! Bastard. Man, the nurse is just going to town. I wonder what she's shooting. Probably a snake or something. Alright, looks like we're headed to that little cabin right there. It's kind of small, but it'll do for now. Oh, biker. Who the hell is that? Somebody shooting a crazy ass machine gun. I wonder if it's a raider. This game has raiders that are essentially NPCs that come after you. A little bit more hardcore than the zombies actually because they actually shoot you. Haiti friendly raider. I didn't know that. Eve the Brute. Okay. Welcome aboard, Eve. Man, that doesn't leave me with much coin, but that should be okay. I'm sure I can come up with some more soon. Wow. A 
between Nan and Eve. Quick work of these zombies. Alright, need the aloe. Gonna need it for the medical quest, so... I think I should have enough by now. Alright, let's see who's in here. This door is locked. Looks like I gotta go through the basement. Yep, there's Joe. Goodbye, Joe. Yeah, this way. Ouch! Damn it, yo. What the hell? Yo, what are you doing? Okay. This little guy. You can do it. Oh, no you can't. Marlene. Dead. Okay, where's my crew? Oh, they're trying to get through the door. Come on in, peeps. Not much. But it's gonna be home for a while. Nice, a cooking pot. Needed one of those. A slightly better padded chest armor. Swap that out. the mod. Let's see what's out here. Nice. Much better knife than my bone knife. Who are we shooting at now? Is that a friendly? Nope. So these are the raiders that I was talking about, or at least one of them. She just got wrecked. And another zombie. Five V1. Oh, there's more. What the hell is that? Holy shit. I hadn't seen these spiders before. That's one creepy ass spider. And a zombie. Well, so far, this little desert area has been a bit more fun than the, uh, tempered by them. Do I get meat from this? Yes, I do. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay, let's finish clearing this place out. Who do we got here? Crawler and little Tom Clark, aka Skinny Pete. I hear a snake. Whoop. Nice. Loot bag. Pretty sweet stuff in here too. Probably sell these night vision goggles. That hammer is great. A little bit of chow, a little bit of drink, and some ammo. Can't complain. Okay. There's that snake that I heard. Anything else out here? Seems clear. Good job, team. Alright. Let's grab my stuff from Billy and the Baker. And then I'll start positioning these guys around the perimeter to kind of guard. Come on. Alright, Billy. You guard here. I put Eve up front. I think I want to put the nurse back here. Yeah. And we'll put the baker over here by the basement. 
probably gonna want to craft some cellar doors to throw over that, but I'll do that later. Okay, perimeter is secure. Time to go inside and get some work done and get situated. Okay, let's craft a cellar door. Do I want to go with an iron one or wood? Don't have a lot of forged iron right now. So I'll just go with wood. Let's place that down here. There we go. I want to craft a workbench. I need a few resources for it. I need to craft a screwdriver and then the scrap iron hammer. I need some clay, leather, duct tape for the forge. I should have the clay. Let's craft a campfire real quick just so I can turn some of the murky water and the bones into glue and turn the glue into duct tape. The duct tape and glue seem to be a significant resource early on at least for this game. Pretty much need duct tape for just about crafting almost everything. And the glue obviously um, helps in creating the duct tape. So during my kind of test playthrough, that was one of the things that I kept having to constantly go after, constantly craft. And I didn't play that far through. Honestly, I probably just played till the first horde just to kind of get a feel for it. I didn't want to know the whole mod inside and out during this playthrough because I kind of wanted to discover some of the stuff with you guys while playing through it. So let's craft a screwdriver and the hammer just so I can have at least the main stuff for the workbench ready to go. And let me see, what else did I need? Okay, mechanical parts. I think I should have some of that. There we go. I think it should be enough. Okay, that's enough. Soon as the screwdriver and the hammer are done, we can craft a workbench. And then for the forge, I need the duct tape and some leather. And looks like a little bit more clay soil. So let's craft some leather. Then we'll put the campfire down and start making some glue to turn into duct tape. So while we're at it, let's craft this spoiled red meat. Now, for this mod, when you have crafting elements in the quests where it requires you to craft certain things, if you're doing it in a crafting station, such as the campfire, workbench, forge, wherever, you actually have to keep the workstation open 
or be there as it crafts or else it doesn't count towards your quest. And I think the reason they did this is so that if you're playing with um, a server with a bunch of different people and you're all on the same quest, one person doesn't just craft something and it counts for everybody. Everybody's kind of responsible for their own quest. So um, let's knock out a few more of these cooking quests and go from there. So I need cornmeal for the cornbread and I need the mortar and pestle to make the cornmeal out of corn might be a good time to go ahead and use a skill point for that I'll look into crafting that later let me see if there's anything else i want to put a skill point into windsurfer you know i hadn't created any of that stuff in my initial playthrough i'm curious to see what the boats and all those watercrafts will be like in this game Let's get the repair kit. Since we're in the desert, let's put a point into well insulated. And another one into iron gut. And let's do one more into salvage operations. Okay, workbench is placed. Now let's get working on the bicycle. Start with the chassis. Okay, what do I need for the handlebars? Of course, more duct tape. Should be some glue in the campfire, however I'm going to wait until the chassis is done crafting so that it counts towards the quest and then I'll go grab the glue. Alright, handlebars are done, now let's craft the bicycle. Just like that, we got wheels. I need to craft five of each of these. I only have three duct tape for the splint, so let's make a couple more. That way we can finish out at least this quest. Put a skill point into run and gun. And one more into Pack Mule. All right. All right, it's getting kind of late. I want to do a job, at least one today see which one is the closest okay let's grab Eve I'll leave the rest here I don't want to bring all of them with me because then that just overkill I think just bringing her along is good enough for now all right well I'll meet you guys there All right, we're here. I think the entrance is right around back. Okay, let's park the bike right here. All right, Eve, show me what you got. Let's get the job started. Okay. Um, I don't know if she's going to make the jump. Before we get in, let's just check the garage and grab the cement.
All right. Like I said, I don't think she's going to make the jump, so let me put down a ladder for her to come up just to make my life and her life much easier. All right, Eve. Let's go. Well, that was fun. Time to get out of here. It's getting kind of late. It's about to be dark soon, so let's head back to the trader and turn in this job. All right, let's grab some stuff out of the vending machine. Candy, drinks, food, why not? Here's your pay hey, for Jay. The job well done. Let's go with the shotgun ammo. All right, and let's grab another job from her. We're I'll do this tomorrow. Do hurry. And let's head back. What do we got out here? A little coyote. Some more meat. And looks like we got a mountain lion. Why not? Oh, and another coyote. I'm gonna have meat for weeks. Shit, another one? Oh fuck. Ow. So much meat. Home sweet home. Oh, you fucking bird. Yep. Mistakes were made. Huh, stupid bird. Hey, looks like Nan has a present for me. Thanks, Nan. Not bad. 
Let's close this toilet. Don't want that smelling some shit. All right. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. If you enjoyed the content and haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and any other buttons you want other than the dislike button. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.